from around the globe. It's the Cube, covering HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Brought to you by HPE. Welcome to the Cube's coverage of HPE Discover 2020, the virtual experience. I'm Lisa Martin, and I'm pleased to be joined by Harshal Asnani, the global head of the technology business at HPE partner Tech Mahindra. Herschel, great to have you on the program. Glad to be here, thanks for having me. So tell me about Tech Mahindra. I see on the website abbreviated as Tech M, but give our audience an overview of Tech Mahindra, what you guys do. Sure, um, so Tech Mahindra is a digital transformation consulting and a technology services company operating at the intersection of IT, engineering, networks, and BPO services. We have about 125,000 people um, operating in around 90 countries, with about 5.2 billion in revenue, and have about 1,000 customers across key strategic verticals, our largest being communications, media, and entertainment. And then we have other strong verticals like technology, manufacturing, HLS, BFSI, the retail, energy, and utilities. So uh, that's broadly what we do, been in existence for well over 30 years now. And tell me about your role as the head of the global technology business. What have you seen transpire and evolve over the last few years and especially the last three months with COVID? Sure, no, absolutely. I think, uh, see, we, we have organized a company around six strategic business units. They are these customer facing business units. And I lead the one that focuses on technology and the high tech industry, if you will, um, based in the Bay Area. and. Uh, uh, in this business unit, a large part of our business is in some sense a 360-degree relationship with our customers, uh, where not only do we sell into our customers, we also sell with and sell through our customers and also buy from them. So in that sense, it's a little different model in which we operate uh, as compared to, say, other verticals that we have, like manufacturing or BFSI or healthcare, where the relationship is largely customer and a supplier relationship. We have a full-blown 360-degree relationship. It's very unique from that standpoint. And, and, and things have, you know, in some sense, dramatically shifted in the last three years, um, rather three months, where we're saying that, you know, the amount of digital transformation, which was to happen over the next two years has kind of happened in the last two months. So this is kind of a pivoting a lot of enterprises and including the tech sector um, into an era where we are saying, how do we uh, reposition ourselves to bring in more COVID related solutions, uh, both from a commercial standpoint, as well as a humanitarian standpoint to, to deal with this crisis. So there are tons, tons of changes that are happening out there in the industry, as well as in Tech Mahindra, as we kind of get ready uh, for COVID and post COVID. If you look at some of the specific trends that you're seeing during the COVID crisis in the high tech segment, what are they? So a couple of things have pivoted very differently. Um, supply chain, uh, for example, uh, which is very crucial to high tech uh, is undergoing in some sense a metamorphosis shift. It's just undergoing a seismic shift in the way supply chains are kind of uh, uh, reconfiguring themselves. Um, we're also seeing customer experience um, kind of dramatically changing. Uh, another thing that is coming in very, very strongly from uh, a change perspective, it's kind of a storm that is brewing out there, is, is how do we enable people to work remotely? Uh, we at Tech Mahindra ourselves had to enable 80,000 people in India to work remotely in a matter of weeks. Um, and it's by by no means an, an easy task to do, which which in a country where working from home is not really a culture, and also where we work out of secured customer premises, um, even in India, our secure offshore locations in India, and all those people have now to, to move to their homes and work out of the living rooms and bedrooms, and and that was a sizable shift in the way we had to deal with our engagements and with our customers. And so far, so good, knock on wood, um, we have not had any issues. So Herschel, pivoting so quickly as TechM did to get your 80,000 employees in India to be able to work from home, connectivity, all the challenges associated with that, goes hand in hand with your business being able to deliver an exceptional customer experience. 
customer experience being an issue that you say is, is a rising trend amongst your customers. Customer experience and work from home these days go hand in hand, right? Absolutely. No, I think we also surprised ourselves at the pace at which we could move these 80,000 people to, to work from home in a matter of days, as I was saying, and, and as without missing any customers. It is you know, a task unimaginable uh, in the in the pre-COVID era. And um, we also surprised ourselves at the pace at which we could turn around COVID-related solutions so quickly with the help of partners like HPE um, that are today um, helping us pivot ourselves from uh, kind of old age solutions to the new age solutions to the new normal today. And and yeah, of course, and uh, at the same time, we have to ensure that we, we enable the customer experience and don't miss a beat on that while we repurpose our people to work from home. So it was, it was a challenge and, and frankly, we surprised ourselves the way we did it. So Harshal, talk to me about what in these COVID crisis times, HPE and Tech Mahindra are doing together to help your customers accelerate maybe adoption of new technologies that they need to for their businesses to thrive? Yeah, sure. No, that's a great question, Lisa. Uh, let me start by saying that HPE is a very strategic partnership for us. And we see it as um, coming together of uh, two market leaders to deliver a very differentiated playbook uh, of solutions for our customers. Uh, with its robust set of products and solutions and edge offerings, uh, edge gateways, converged edge systems, and real-time analytics, combined with HP's great Green Lake uh, uh, offers, which is around flexible uh, consumption-based services, which helps align you know, customers' IT spend uh, to deliver pretty much everything as a service. Uh, we kind of have a very robust partner uh, in HPE, and it, and when you combine this with uh, Tech Mahindra's industry domain and technology depth and the systems integration wherewithal that we that we bring in, it makes for a very, I believe, a very potent combination to drive serious value to our customers. Right? And and uh, given the COVID situation, we have kind of defined our relationship along three broad vectors uh, based on the mutual synergies and where we believe we can quickly drive value. Uh, firstly, what are the solution white spaces that we want to address together? Uh, secondly, what are the geographies that you want to operate in? And third is, what are the industry verticals that we believe we can quickly focus on? So from a, from a solutioning standpoint, there are four broad thrust areas that we want to sharply focus on. Firstly, IoT. Um, it's been, it's been a, a strong partnership with HP, with IoT, and we would like to continue that forward with HP's you know, edge offerings and uh, uh, converged edge systems, we have kind of demonstrated the possibilities um, of IoT with, with solutions across smart cities, factories of the future, uh, energy and utilities, and of course, telecom. And we have some good success stories we already have with HP that we would like to build on. We have won some four significant smart city projects in India, uh, in four different cities of India. Um, and we also, by the way, won the Systems Integrator Award for Edge and IoT um, from HPE last year, uh, and also the SI Partner of the Year for, for, for Asia Pacific for HPE last year. So we would like to continue to build on that. We also already have a, a COE on, on, on IoT uh, set up in Bangalore. It's a very unique COE that we've built up where we have showcasing solutions around uh, smart cities, around IoT, and we also brought in uh, Aruba Gear uh, as well uh, with solutions around smart campuses so on and so forth so so that's that's number one number two is data center transformation as as um, uh, hybrid cloud kind of takes root a lot of customers are now looking at transforming their data centers uh, as well and and particularly with hpe's green lake it becomes a very strategic commercial tool for us to uh, bring on-demand pay-per-use models, elasticity, you know, kind of the, as I was talking about, the flexible consumption services model, uh, which is uh, so unique today as we help customers reduce their capex and, and uh, get them to pay by the drink, if you will. Uh, now that becomes very, very relevant in the COVID times. And, and, and last but not the least, our focus is also on network of the future. Uh, uh, when I say that our partnership with HP is really pivoted around um, 5G, um, uh, SDN, NFE, and private LTE solutions. Um, for example, you know HPE's uh, private LTE network, which is essentially powered by HPE's EL300 and 
uh, EL4000 converged edge systems. It's kind of augmented by our industrial IoT expertise, and it includes a pre-integrated, off-the-shelf, uh, you know, industrial IoT application from Techmandra. It's a kind of an end-to-end -end solution that uh, uses uh, the breakthrough innovation such as small cells, EPC, and and smart multi-access edge compute. So we, we are staying sharply focused on, on these areas and we started seeing the results. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, given the COVID scenario, we have evolved a bunch of use cases very quickly in, in multiple industry areas. And uh, both from a commercial viability standpoint and also mm -hmm. importantly, on a humanitarian level, what we can do together. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, in Italy, as the pandemic was, was raging, uh, uh, as many of you would know, we, we uh, a ship was converted into a hospital, probably a thousand bed hospital, and and HPE stepped in and they they brought in the Aruba gear to put up network together, the infrastructure and the connectivity to to bring together and Tech Mahindra, which has a rapid response healthcare solution to help with um, uh, remote patient diagnostics and monitoring, uh, kind of brought in that solution along with HPE. Uh, to bear in Italy as the pandemic was raging. So that's just an example of, of uh, how we are partnering at multiple levels. Um, we have created a solution around uh, workspace as a service. Um, as remote working becomes the new normal, uh, we've created right. a joint solution with HP on that too. So a bunch of other solutions as well, Lisa. Sounds like you guys have done a great job of, as you mentioned in the beginning of our time here, rapidly pivoting within Tech Mahindra. As you said, it actually kind of surprised ourselves to what yeah. you were doing with HPE to deploy rapidly in Italy, to I can only imagine helping customers accelerate projects like smart cities and smart factories where suddenly we need sensors on more things. Um, mm -hmm. Harshal, I thank you so much for spending time with us on theCUBE today, exciting topics. We can't wait to see where this goes. No, thank you so much, Lisa, uh, for your time. It was great talking to you. Excellent, my pleasure. For Harshal, I'm Lisa Martin, and you're watching theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover. 2020. Thanks for watching.